my project is the first physical client um, of Carnivore, which basically means, so the way it works, police state, is um, I'm looking on the network for any kind of suspicious words, such as um, any kind of terrorist keywords, such as like bomb, or threat, or crash, or burn, or dead, or aircraft, or these kind of things. And what's happening is if it ever sees that word, it then maps it to um, an, act an actual active California state police code, which would be kind of maybe 1054 for, you know, assault with a deadly weapon, or 1050, a bomb threat. And what happens is that that code is then mapped to the keyword, and then the code is then translated to its binary equivalent, so that would be like 10011. Um, and depending on the pattern, um, that gets sent out as a movement sequence to all 20 remote control police cars. So each pattern is basically a right, a left, a forward, a backwards, and they move um, in those patterns. And they're all of the cars are actually listening on the same frequency. So they move as a giant swarm of cars, sort of, you know, all controlled by the, puppeted by the own information that they're trying to uh, snoop on, as we can say. You know, as, you know, as sort of like the media intensity around terrorism, especially in the U.S., is happening now. Um, you know, people tend to be a lot more suspicious than, than they really should be. And so, especially the police. So you have kind of um, the police, the minute there's some kind of thing going on, like some kind of, you know, threat that might, might be happen, might happen, the police all sort of converge on, on what that could be, even though if, in a, if it's a hoax, you know. I mean, even when I was in school growing up, people would, would uh, call in bomb threats and we'd have to leave the school. So now if you do that, I can imagine our entire police force, that the whole city would be there. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of uh, playing on these kind of ideas.